our menstrual blood is the most valuable thing in this whole multiverse. Salt protects you from evil spirits. That's why they're always telling you not to have it and it's gonna give you high blood pressure. They're trying to trick you into not using salts to protect yourself. Why do people think that Rose New Blueprint 4848 is a troll? You know, salt water, it cleanses, it's a healer. Salt is a healer, crystals are healing. Let's use crystals, don't be afraid. Don't let them scare ya. Don't let them tell you that it's bad for you. Don't let them tell you crystal that sugar is going to make you fat. Because sugar is sweet and it's from the earth. The salt of the earth, it's a crystal. Sugar is actually good for you if you love your body and love your sugar. Have lots of salt, guys. Have lots of sugar. And love your body and love your sugar. You can eat all the crystals that you want as long as you do it with consciousness and love in your heart for your body and your mind and your soul and your body and your earth and your son and your mother Gaia. Because it's good for you because it's a crystal. But then she's anti-fluoride and she's anti a whole bunch of other things. She thinks that her daughter having a sealant on a cavity which absorbs fluoride is a bad thing. Because they think if you're, if the sealant, the plastic sealant, which is made of certain compounds that actually act as a, she, what was the word she used, as a um, reservoir, reservoir for fluoride, keeping it in your mouth at all times. So when you're done brushing your teeth, you spit it out and you rinse it, this keeps the fluoride in your mouth. They think that, they, they teach you, or they believe, they're doing it because they think it's good for you. They believe that this strengthens your teeth. But actually, it doesn't strengthen your teeth at all, as proven by the fact that she still had a cavity. She had two cavities. But of course, they get away with this kind of opinion. You know, oh, fluoride is bad, lots of salt is good, lots of sugar is great, because they've heard it somewhere, they've been told it, and they say, well, this is what the doctors believe. This is what medical experts believe. But you know what? They're all wrong, because I have my own favorite expert. And, um, it doesn't work because the one that had the sealant didn't work. She had a cavity, so she had two new cavities. Well, not just one, but two. Considering this woman has no problem with people having lots of sugar, because if you love your body, etc., etc., then it must be good. Well, in that case, maybe sugar should be looked at. How come your kid gets cavities? Oh, right. Sugar. Yeah, we have sugar all the time. Even if you have it just in tea, you don't have like, uh, I don't know, Dr. Pepper or Coca-Cola. <clears throat> product placement, then whatever the case may be, you're still going to end up with problems because you're having sugar. Even if you brush your teeth regularly, this can still happen, and fluoride isn't a miraculous thing. It can benefit, in some cases, tooth health. But of course, we're going to ignore that because you've read certain things about it being very bad. There are reasons not to have too much of it, but to be fluoride phobic is a little bit over the top. The video, as it continues, gets even more ridiculous, and she talks about things like reptilians and the use of period blood as a miraculous cure. The Illuminati doctor of keeping fluoride in the sheeple because fluoride calcifies your pineal gland and shuts off your intelligence. The kid's teeth in their brain, right next to the brain. How close is that? How close is this your mouth to the brain, right? The Scots are interesting. The Scots are the Scots are basically the Celts, I think, sort of like the that powerful bloodline. England is where the ley lines are. Well, we're half reptilian, half mammal, and part of Earth. Earth regenerates herself, and she's got gold, so we have that in our body. But humans are extremely special. That's why that's why pigs taste so good. Pigs are supposed to be a boar mated with a human. Why does bacon taste so good? The black magician, okay, the magicians, you you had these ley lines on your side to power up your magic. Isn't that amazing? See, that changes everything. I mean, I, I knew this about magic. Very hard to do magic, you have to focus. So it's also really hard to master the human body and all its cravings. Simon Parks was saying that Queen Elizabeth I had a lot of, gen of reptilian genetics, and I'm trying to figure out if these if these royals are real people or if they are actually you know some kind of reptile beings what what, it, what they are are humans with a ton of reptilian genetics or Anunnaki genetics Anunnaki it doesn't make sense if you have an RH negative baby your body is in harmony with itself it doesn't need anything but they give you this Rogam shot and it and, but it has mercury in it Superman has kryptonite he touches kryptonite and he gets weak well I get weak from mercury this is how corrupt. See, the doctor, it's, 
is the, that's the science experiment, guys. Those are the experiment, guys, and we are the guinea pigs. Queen Elizabeth and Queen Mary were alive at the same time, fighting for the same throne. Queen Elizabeth wins. Well, she has more reptilian blood, perhaps. I don't know. The real question is, who is James the First? Is he also reptilian? Because I honestly think that you can't even be king or queen without having a ton of reptile blood. Anne Boleyn had a ton of reptile blood. And I think they used Anne Boleyn to get that Queen Elizabeth in place. Like, I bought eggs. Don't get the seal in. It is, it is a scheme dumbing down fluoride in your brain. I think it's our duty to question everything in this bullshit matrix because everything is a bunch of bullshit. I mean, they want to put a holographic Jesus that comes down who's actually Anu. I heard that Anu constructed this whole thing. That's another thing. Anu is this reptile overlord that's really brilliant who actually runs the whole world. We're actually being run by this big giant reptile king. <laughs> It's so absurd. You can't even, you can't, it's hard to take it seriously, but all these really respectable people say it. Our menstrual blood is the most valuable thing in this whole multiverse. I just learned that from another video I was listening to. And we think it's garbage that we should get away from our menstrual blood, but actually it's that menstrual blood is the elixir of, of rejuvenating life. It's and, and the Egyptians knew that. That's what oral sex was all about. Right from the, fresh from the fruit, fruit picked right off the tree. And they used menstrual blood in their potion to rejuvenate themselves. They probably put some cocoa powder in there too. Wow. Yeah, I just, and, and we have been taught to be afraid of our blood, to, to, to be, to, it hurts, we hate it, oh God, the period. I don't miss it. But now that I know how valuable it was, I wish I was, it's like, oh, I love that. That menstrual blood has probably healed me, probably healed me. The dark side of the force is a pathway to many abilities some consider to be unnatural. Because they thought that the god's king's blood would heal anything. So my menstrual blood might have been able to heal anything. For all I know, I wouldn't be surprised. And also, I believe that humans, when they evolve... That evolution of their consciousness is also integrated 100% with their body. So the blood of an enlightened person has high level blood, get it? And to take in, in that high level blood of, a, of an enlightened person who's done and lived and maybe been many lifetimes and has this incredible wisdom, to, to ingest any part of your body, you're probably gonna get some, because you are what you eat. <laughs> Of course! Our menstrual blood is the most valuable thing in this whole multiverse. I just learned that from another video I was listening to. It's a Sith legend. I keep spacing on me. I thought I bought eggs. Cook the man some fucking eggs, bitch! <laughs>